I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court It's the West Welcome everybody to New Orleans and the iconic Caesars Superdome, the long-term home of the All-State Sugar Bowl, which this year, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover, and another team that's battle-tested already off one playoff victory as we'll see the number nine seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreet. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. Only one team here can keep their championship dreams alive. Final play of this first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side, suddenly, Kirk, their season is over. But it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances, and they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, it, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Okay, okay, okay First in and the last out Never tried to go the fast route Marathon, not a race Put in hours, then I cash out Game time, been lit Been the man, been him In the box like 9-9 Got pinstripes Welcome, folks, to Glendale, Arizona and State Farm Stadium, site of this year's Verbo Fiesta Bowl, which, of course, is part of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before that national championship game. And today we're going to find out who's got the toughness and the depth to continue their drive and keep championship dreams alive. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff. 
the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and to bring the football out to the 25-yard line. So Notre Dame's offense comes on the field first today. Always enjoyed coming to the Fiesta with Andrew Luck in 2012. And then the Shocker just a few years ago with TCU over Michigan in 2022. This game has a history of providing the unexpected. And he's got it down there inside the 35. That's a big-time play by this wide receiver from Notre Dame. You think about Notre Dame teams that have been able to get up into the national scene. They always seem to have a difference maker out on the perimeter, going way back to Tim Brown, who won a Heisman, Rocket, who is dynamic, most recently Chase Claypool. you got to have somebody out there. Easy! There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. Oh, what a move. And it's working to perfection. Now, as they move the ball into the red zone area, can they put this ball into the end zone? First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Irish. This offense comes out and he gets points in the board for the playoff. And that's coming out on the field with a purpose. Look, it's playoff time. Everything you prepare for is earned here and now. And that opening drive was the fruits of that preparation. play back heads to his right first down they'll keep the drive going to the 37 Chris I don't know there's just something about that Bama uniform when they run the football it just feels right this run game now they get this offense to another third down now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on it nowhere to go here and the ball is knocked loose it's a turnover I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line they were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there. They were able to knock it loose. And now the handoff. Has the first down and more. Heads out of bounds. On the run, it's low. Well, I don't think... Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Lewis. Can he make it to the marker? Looks like Alabama. Quarterback's got it on the option. Pitches to the back. They make the tackle. The offense recovers it. They maintain possession, but lose a bunch of yards. Looking to throw. It's Simpson. Quick throw to his receiver. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him. Down. Time runs out in the first quarter. So, Kirk, as we hit the quarter break here, Notre Dame has the lead. We've reached the end of one in this quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. How about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're... The freshman's able to get home with a sack. 
Well, that's their second sack already in this game right now. And, and this offensive coordinator, he's going to have to come up with some changes in pass pro. Keep a tight end in, roll the quarterback out, anything they can do to help him out. Otherwise, this poor guy is going to spend his entire playoff experience on his back. They will trot out the field goal team here. It has been a tough first half in this playoff game for this offense. They cannot get anything going through the air. Not only are they down the scoreboard, but there's really nothing to build around as we get ready to go into the second half. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. Try to move the chains here on the ground. A quick juke to get free. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job. And he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. Bringing it out. It's at the returner loses the football deep in their own territory. That is an incredible job by this kickoff coverage team. You don't see many turnovers on kickoffs, but they just gifted their offense with a bonus possession. And the fighting Irish offense with a forcing goal. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown. We have a short field. The offense is exactly what we're supposed to do. That's what we need to ask the defense. Absolutely. But when you're given that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. Oh, he's looking to throw. And it's in. Looks like the offense is content to run out the clock here and just take it to intermission. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. The magnitude and intensity of these playoff matchups is always something special to be a part of. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate a lot of value. Urgency now for the offense. They'd hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Running play called on third and short. He's found some room at the 45. And he's in the clear down the right side. End zone ahead. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Alabama. What a long run for the touchdown. I don't know if this defense was caught sleeping or walking in mud. I can't pick which one. Maybe it's both because the running back just went right by them so easily for the big game and a big-time score. the decision to go for a two-point conversion. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Can he get there on the ground? They tackle him behind the football Here, they give up the catch, but you can see how they rallied in the football. There's just nowhere to go for this slot receiver. 
bring him down. And they pick up the first on the ground. And he'll maybe get the 33. Back in motion now. Jukes to get free. Brought down, but broke it. Looking to pass here on second down. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. Oh, and he's got it. Big gain inside the 25. Touchdown, Irish. And the round is on. So the offense, Black Seeker, is stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead as you go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. This third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. He might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere to reach the end of the court. First down. Looking to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's Williams. So, Kirk, as we hit the quarter break here, Notre Dame has the lead. And with three quarters in the books, with a chance to stay alive in the playoff at stake, let's take a quick look at the stats so far. Uh, go. To the air, it's Simpson. Makes a quick grab. Got a lane. Can he get in? Four set of bounds. For these guys, you wonder where plays like this have been all game long. Here's the handoff on first and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, tied. Formation would indicate they're gonna try the onside kick here. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Here's the handoff. They get him down, but that's a... Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. But they don't connect. It's in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Defense is coming after him. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Lewis. But with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Gets made on the out route. Great move in the open field. And a big game. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. They bring it from the goal line now. Look at a throw on third and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bama. Chris, this is a great play by the receiver coming up with this touchdown. Let's go back to the beginning of this play. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He got the ball out of his hands quickly to get that receiver the football to give him a chance to put the touchdown on the board. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seam able to make the crucial recovery. Testing the right side here. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Here's the toss play. Runner heads outside. Impressive spin there. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. 
Looking for a gap, it's pain. We'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Well, when you have a big physical offensive line, you can beat the third and goal and rely on them and the running back to get you a touchdown. Quarterback looking to make a play through the... Oh, it's picked off. What a play. He's got some room and some blockers here. Refusing to be stopped in this play. And he steps out at the eight. A crucial takeaway. Oh, you feel terrible for this quarterback. He's played well all year. He's trying to make a play, trying to force it into coverage because they need points at this point in the game to try to advance into the next round of the playoffs. Puts it into coverage, and that's probably going to do it. Play fake, looking to throw. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. And that is a great job here by this offense, taking advantage of a big opportunity provided to them by their own defense after that turnover. And why wait? They get aggressive, make the throw, and it pays off for a touchdown. Quarterback drops back. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. It is a sack party out there for this defense. Everything going their way. You know that this offense is going to try to throw the football down by such a big margin late in the game. And this defensive line is bringing the heat. They come up with another sack. On the return, it's Young. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And the coverage team brings him down as the clock expires. That will wrap up this game. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment. But now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger, as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this, to get to the national championship, that says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically, and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.